What's the word, people? It's your boy John back at you with another reaction video. This is six animals that could defeat a gorilla. I think a bear could defeat a gorilla. That'd be a good fight, but I don't think it's too many because the gorillas are smart. Like, for real, gorillas are smart. So it's kind of, I don't know where they're going to get this list from or who they're going to put on the list, but let's just go ahead and find out. Let's go. Six animals that could defeat a gorilla. Gorillas are gentle giants who display a wide Just. range of human-like actions and emotions, including laughter and sadness. In fact, gorillas and humans share 98.3% of their genetic code. Gorillas are stocky animals with broad chests and shoulders, huge human-like hands, and small eyes set into hairless faces. They are the largest of the great apes. The Congo Basin Forest separates the two gorilla species, which inhabit in equatorial Africa. There are lowland and highland subspecies from each. Gorillas reside in family groups of five to 10 individuals, but they can range from two to more than 50. Each family group is headed by a dominant adult male or silverback who holds his position for years. Males are about twice as heavy as females and may attain a height of about 5.5 feet, 1.7 meters, and weight of 300 to 485 Damn. pounds, 135 to 220 kilograms. Number six. Hippopotamus. On land, a hippopotamus should destroy a gorilla with little to no effort, while in the water, a hippopotamus should wreck. I don't think anything could deal with a hippopotamus in the water. That's like fighting a tank. That's I mean, that's obvious. Come on now. Gorilla with no effort. A hippopotamus can grow to be 16.5 feet long, 5.2 meters. Five feet tall, 1.5 meters, and 9,000 pounds, 4,082 <laughs> kilograms. A hippopotamus is 10 times larger than a gorilla. Because of their size, thick muscle, and fat, hippopotamuses are extremely difficult to kill. Hippos have an exceptionally thick layer of fat that serves as armor against the gorilla's teeth in addition to their size difference. An entire lion pride has been driven off by hippos in the past. Oh, Individual dear. leopards, smaller than lions, mouth? have killed gorillas on rare occasions. Hippos are also known to prey on animals larger than gorillas. They have also killed Nile crocodiles, which are over twice the size of a gorilla, in addition to lions. A hippopotamus can easily kill a gorilla since it has far larger teeth and has one of the strongest bites of any terrestrial animal. Damn. This is in addition to the ability to just trample and crush the ape. A gorilla's it, strength it might help, but a hippo is far too large for the ape's muscle to be an issue. The only advantage a gorilla has over a hippo is probably its intelligence, although I don't believe it will help it much. Number five, bears. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't think the this, this is true. The grizzly bear will be over three times heavier than the gorilla when they are both at their largest in the wild. Although gorillas have higher muscle mass than grizzlies, this does not mean that they will win. Grizzlies don't go hunting quite often, but when they do, they've been known to kill moose, which are much bigger than gorillas. The advantage of the bear compared to gorillas is that they have claws, large claws. While the gorilla tries to smash the grizzly with its hands, the bear's huge claws will cut into its flesh. Probably gorillas are more intelligent, but a fight typically favors size and muscles over the brain. The gorilla now has a significantly more powerful bite, which is backed up by huge teeth. The bear's fangs are also larger, and its bite may easily kill the ape. So the ape's jaw isn't much of an advantage. If we are talking about a grizzly bear or a polar bear, 
will certainly have the advantage and will win against a gorilla. If we yeah. are talking about a bear the size of a gorilla, then chances are the gorilla will win the fight. Number four, lion. Both the lion and the gorilla have their share of strengths, each of which is unique. The gorilla's huge canines are built for intimidation rather than for tearing flesh, and they still pale in comparison to the predatory fangs of its adversary, the male lion. If the lion were a male at its maximum size, it would be incredibly difficult to get a decent bite on the lion's neck due to their mane. To kill a gorilla, the lion does not need to rely just on its bite. It is unlikely a lion would kill a gorilla with their bite, though still possible. Silverback gorillas' necks are well protected. However, many people forget that while grappling with another animal, cats tend to use their back paws yeah, to absolutely true. shred whatever part of the animal is directly in front of them. They can do this very quickly and cause massive damage. There is no question a lion would be able to kill a gorilla in this way. Either the lion grapples with the gorilla, facing it and disembowels it in quick order with its back paws while also attempting to bite below its chin, or it manages to secure a deep bite on the gorilla's neck to the rear and paralyzes it. Number three, crocodile. See, a lot of these things on this list, I don't even think about, though, like crocodiles or lions. Like, I want to think about them fighting a gorilla. This encounter, the crocodile would most likely win because they're much bigger, two or three times the size of a big silverback male. That is, if we refer to the saltwater crocodile and the Nile crocodile. Furthermore, the croc's bite is the most powerful ever recorded. 3,700 pounds per square inch. All they have to do is bite the gorilla and drag it underwater. Yeah, Gorillas so tend to fight by beating and tearing at limbs. The crocodile's thick skin and body design, especially underwater, would let it survive any pummeling or attempt to tear its limbs. The Nile crocodile, the world's second largest species, has been known to kill animals much larger than gorillas. Number two, giraffe. Giraffes fight each other by swinging their necks at one another as if they were in a giant pillow fight. Sometimes lion attack giraffes and win, but more often than not, the giraffe's incredibly powerful kick will land, killing or seriously injuring the lion. A gorilla has... I thought a giraffe was one of the most humblest creatures on the earth. Like, <laughs> a giraffe fighting? i never seen nothing like that before. I even heard of anything like that. A giraffe fighting? The capacity to quickly climb a giraffe's legs and neck and sink into a chokehold, but it will be extremely difficult. An adult giraffe is seven to 10 times heavier than a silverback gorilla and still has its kick. A giraffe can have a maximum weight of 4,250 pounds, 1,930 kilograms, and so with its far superior size and strength. A giraffe's headbutt armed with ossicones and kick can kill you. Humans no. have been killed in this manner. A giraffe easily defeats a gorilla. I believe that a giraffe's simple headbutt or kick will be enough to send a gorilla flying to his death. Number one, tiger. tiger Both the Bengal lion. tiger Almost. and the silverback gorilla are kings of their own environments. They are large, powerful, and intelligent animals. When a tiger attacks a gorilla, the gorilla is not a safe and easy target the gorilla can inflict possibly fatal blows on the tiger. The tiger has a faster reaction time, longer, stronger claws, and massive canine fangs, as well as better maneuverability. With a bite force of 1,050 PSI, the tiger is close behind the gorilla. Tiger canines, on the other hand, 
are around 0.5 to 1 inch longer, between 1.25 and 2.5 centimeters. A tiger's powerful body and thick fur are other advantages. I think that because of the tiger's hunting qualities, he can ambush a gorilla and kill it. Yeah, of course. That's all for today. Thank you. Yeah. You learn something new every day, though, especially with a giraffe. That's crazy. Never thought about a giraffe dealing with a gorilla. Like That's crazy to me. But a lion and a alligator, tiger, that's obvious. Come on. Hippo, it's obvious, though. You know, you just can't win with people that can stab at you, you know, just rip you apart with your claws. It's just hard to win those battles. But this was a cool video, man. Like I say, you learn something new every day. If you want me to do more videos like this, please leave a link in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.